So regarding um, infective hepatitis, um, the commonest uh, cause is usually virus. Um, bacteria can also cause it, but much more common is virus. And uh, to name the virus, it is uh, pretty easy, uh, A, B, C, D, E. Um, so from this, B and C, these are the viruses that are actually most dangerous because they live in your liver for years and years and years and continue this damage to the liver. And over a period of like 10 years, it can actually cause severe damage to the liver, the so-called cirrhosis. Um, in fact, the hepatitis C and B used to be one of the commonest cause of liver cirrhosis um, in India, in the West, in Asia, etc. But thankfully, uh, due to various reasons, that has actually come down significantly. Hepatitis A and E are predominantly spread from the unhealthy water or food. Unlike hepatitis B and C, which predominantly come from transfer of, transfer of your blood or your body fluids. So B and C comes when you have your blood when you have, when you have some blood transfusion or some surgery um, using contaminated instruments so which of course is not very common now it used to be like 20 30 years ago but nowadays from a blood or from an instrument during surgery the chance of getting hepatitis b or c is like one in a million or one in a 50000 it's very 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 rare because everything is tested uh, before we um, all these procedures are done on the other hand a and e it can come easily from contaminated water most commonly because hepatitis E, A and E are excreted in our feces and if there is any contamination of any water, for example a well water which is a common source and that gets contaminated by from a drainage pipe or something and that can have hepatitis A and that can spread. Um, so oh, that is a dangerous situation that can occur in like an epidemic in focal areas. Um, hepatitis A and D thankfully cause mostly acute hepatitis and it's very rare for them to cause long-term liver disease like cirrhosis. The good news is that hepatitis B can now be prevented by vaccination. Now most states have hepatitis B as a standard vaccination policy uh, therefore most children will get it and if you don't if your children hasn't got it it is very important that they do get it. Moreover as an adult uh, as well it is important that you get the vaccine uh, what you can do is you can check your blood to see if you are already immune to it because sometimes you may be immune to it. If you are not immune to it, it is vital that you do get the vaccination. It is only three doses and uh, you can get it easily from any medical sh med med uh, hospital. For hepatitis C, unfortunately there is no vaccination uh, but the, there are efficient medicines that you need to take for three to six months that can completely cure it. So please don't be under the mistaken belief that if your hepatitis C it cannot be treated. Yes, it can be treated. Hepatitis A also there is a vaccine um, but it is not long lasting like hepatitis B. It has to be taken like every year or every one to two years. So you can perhaps take it if there is a locally high incidence of hepatitis E uh, at a certain period of your time. For example, rainy season, spring season, etc. That is when this, uh, this gets much higher. Hepatitis D is very rare. It usually comes only with hepatitis B. I don't think you need to know that.